Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Plain Strange and Comic Book Channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to review Ice Cream Man number 30. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for Ice Cream Man number 30. It is an image comic, and it is by Prince, Morazzo, and O'Halloran. And we start off this comic in a testing facility for clinical pharmaceutical trials. This company named Holt is testing a drug named Neuromaze. And basically, they're just testing what the side effects of low-grade psychedelics are when used in a medical context. So there is a doctor sitting at this experiment. His name is Dr. Benjamin. There's a man named Kenneth, who's test subject one, and Millar, who's test subject two. And on this page, we get a full breakdown of exactly what Neuromaze is. And basically, what's going on is these two guys are going to sleep here. Each night, they're going to up their dosage. And each morning when they wake up, they're supposed to write down in a journal what they expect. Experience. So the two test subjects take the medicine and go into their respective rooms. And the doctor talks into his recorder in his office and narrates that he told test subject one, Kenneth, that what he gave him was a placebo and Millar just got the regular dosage. So the first night, Kenneth is like, oh, I'm on a placebo. No problem. He starts journaling and he tries to turn on the TV. And all there is on the TV is this weird color spiral. But across the hall, Millar is having a different experience. As he tries to go to sleep, he hears a noise in the corner ceiling area of his room. And then we see the hallucination that he is seeing, which is this weird, creepy spider monster in the corner just looking at him. And because he's doing these tests, he knows it's not real, but he's still freaked out. And of course, he doesn't get much sleep that night. So the next night, Kenneth still thinks that he is getting a placebo, but they have doubled the dosage. This night, he's starting to feel side effects, and he's having hallucinations of an ice cream man talking on his TV. Meanwhile, Malar seems to be doing better-ish. He has just accepted that there is a monster in his room, and it seems to be friendly because he's able to get to sleep while this thing licks his face and is next to him. So because of his weird TV incident, Kenneth thinks possibly he was lied to about his placebo, so he goes to talk to the doctor, and the doctor does the straight-up doctor thing. He doesn't confirm that there is a placebo or not. He just answers every question that Kenneth asks him. Well, how does that make you feel? So the next night, we don't know the dosage that they gave Kenneth, but he is tripping like he's never tripped before. He's seeing his fingers as snakes. He's hearing that creepy spider monster in the corner. So he freaks out and runs into the hallway from his room. And he is confronted by that spider monster hanging from the ceiling, which proceeds to explode and all his little creepy slug babies fall out. And the whole time this is happening, the doctor is watching Kenny do this on the CCTV cameras in the facility. So as Kenneth grabs the pen, Dr. Benjamin realizes this is not good. So he runs out to the hallway to try to stop Kenneth, who's about to stab his neck with the pen and kill himself. And as the doctor rounds the corner, that's where I'm going to cut it off. I don't want to spoil anything else. So the Ice Cream Man is a very interesting series. Apparently, each issue is kind of like a full story in itself, but every issue has the character of the Ice Cream Man in it somewhere. So he's kind of like the Crypt Keeper from the Tales from the Crypt stuff. He's your guide or narrator usually in the issues, or he'll just appear randomly, kind of like in this where he was in the TV. And I actually just started reading the series. I read the first trade randomly, and I really liked it. I love the concept, so I figured I'd check out number 30 this week, and I was not disappointed. This was a great comic. It has a very nice build to it. It's not too slow, not too fast. And just like those old Tales from the Crypt comics, there's a twist at the end and a big surprise. Most of the issues seem to have that, and I really like that format. I think it's fun. It's kind of nostalgic, but it's definitely a cool and updated version of that. The writing of this issue was really solid. I think it's been 30 issues with the same writer and artist, so they've had time to hone their craft and really perfect the way that they do these issues. And the monsters are super creepy. That spider monster specifically was nightmare fuel. So overall, if you're a horror fan or you like Tales from the Crypt or things like that, definitely check out Ice Cream Man. It was a blast. So I'm going to give this one a four out of five. And now I got to go find all the back issues for this series. After reading the first trade and this issue, I'm all in. So if you saw anything you like, definitely go pick that up at your local comic book store. And we will see you all in the next one.